Okay, so I've been driving this vehicle for about, I don't know, 7 to 10 miles, and I've gotten an average of 4.6 miles per kilowatt. Now, this is pretty important if you're planning on um, extending your range on your vehicle. Uh, the reason being that if this little bar right here, if you can keep it as far right as possible, you're actually going to increase the range in your vehicle. Uh, the Nissan Leaf has a 24 kilowatt hour uh, battery. Multiply that by 4.5, and you get well over a hundred mile range. Now, I've, I've only been driving streets, so I've been able to really take advantage of the miles per kilowatt hour. Uh, once you go on freeway, though, it, it changes significantly. Um, out of the 350 miles that I've put on this vehicle, I had an average of 3.8 kilowatts, uh, 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour, which is pretty good because that puts me at about 80 to 90 miles on a full charge, which is uh, better than the estimated 60 mile range on on freeway. Now, granted, if you do drive on the freeways, um, you do get about 60 miles to 70 miles if you're driving about 70 some miles per hour, which is kind of what I do. Now what I have noticed though is when you're driving in normal driving mode, it is not as restrictive, so you're actually able to coast more on the freeway. I'm actually going to test more whether eco mode or drive mode is better on freeways, uh, but see if you see there, I'm actually taking off a little bit and it drops to the far left, which means you know, I'm getting two miles per kilowatt hour no, turning. But if I'm just coasting, I'm going to 14. You can actually still get uh, a good eight miles per kilowatt hour if you're coasting at 35 miles to 45 miles an hour. I live in Huntington Beach, and most of the streets are 40 to 45 uh, mile per hour speed limits. So I've actually been driving a good 40 to 45 miles per hour. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll keep testing to see how we can increase our range on these vehicles, but it, you, I guess you can't accelerate too much. Uh, as long as you're within the first and second dot, you'll get a good 4.5, 4.2 to 4.6 average, kind of what I have. But once you start going to the third, fourth, fifth, and so on, you're going to get almost nothing miles, you know, per kilowatt hour. As long as you stay within these three, I know it's kind of tough. Eco mode kind of does it for you, but the problem with eco mode is it's very restrictive. I know it's supposed to gain back some of the energy, but a lot of the energy is lost. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll uh, keep track of my driving habits and see if I can increase the range on this vehicle or make it more efficient.